And welcome back guys, welcome back here, sexy war game where Demon, who is such an awesome being of knowledge, is playing war game European Escalation. We are so close to owning one of the main entrances for the enemy. You can see we have two T-55s, 100mm guns, and in Majevo, and as soon as we get the Majevo we're gonna be taking it, uh, screwing them over and then move on to the next objective, which are there all about uh, the towns, right? They're almost all about the towns. In Plok, we have the Plok, and we have this hill, which is also the entrance uh, for the enemy. There are three entrances in total for them, so we're going to be taking those entrances. So next objective is we have actually encroached upon the enemy at this point. We're not going to move in overly too soon. We're going to first foremost take their main objectives over there, and that's going to be amazing. I'm gonna drop uh, my Mi-26 here. Hopefully we'll have enough coverage so he doesn't get owned by an enemy AA, but as Mi-2 is still there, not getting owned, I don't think the Mi-26 is gonna feel any pain anytime soon. Yes, we are close, and from what we have seen all, it is that the US is there only in terms of Hueys for now. The regular combat was always about the uh, Polish bastards, the Polish rebellion bastards, and and that's it we have not seen any a uh, u.s infantry u.s uh, tanks or something like that fine by me as i said fine by me that's okay i mean we can deal with polish easily the u.s on the other hand tends to have a lot more in their hands don't mind you we're fighting polish and polish is utilizing polish are utilizing mostly what we already have in this uh well, what we have as a ussr so yeah there you go UAZ there, great stuff. Now we're gonna be moving the VDV slowly but surely towards these locations. We're gonna move the Mi-22 uh, US as a scout. That's a scout, man. That's a freaking scout. And we might be gonna go with the MITVs to this if we can. Yes, we can. Excellent. MITVs from this location might be able to shoot the T-55s. If not, at least we'll have to. We we'll have some kind of a sight, as Mi-2 also US will be moving a tad bit closer, maybe. We have the PT-71 in case the MI-2 goes down. Okay, we have the the PT-71. He has an ATGM capability, so we have to be able to shoot any kind of a thing, any kind of a tank from a large distance. This is a Malutka 2,450 meters, as you can see here. So it's amazing. T-8 is on the prowl, moving. T-8. We have a lot of T-80s, so if something happens to these T-80s, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm just saying, it's gonna be a freaking problem. So I'm hoping that there are no enemy contact whatsoever in these patch of woods because it would be a problematic thing if they have some kind of ATGM capability that they would be opening fire already at us. So if they have maybe just regular soldiers with law launchers, RPG-7s, whatever, it still could be a problem for us. Uh, TO-55s, flamethrowers. With, again, T-55, same thing, 100mm, same armor, same everything and uh, all that. But it's 3111 in armor, I believe, and that's about it. TO-55 have flamethrowers, will be able to flame the motherfucking enemy yes we'll be to able to flame this as long as we keep our front armor up front okay our front armor up front we have some vdv soldiers we have passed them over to us no occasion no enemy contacts whatsoever at least now that we can see mi tvs we might move them a tad bit if we definitely know that the enemy doesn't have any shilkas or any kind of AA capability in terms of rocket vehicle like we have seen osa or something like that that can one shot to our stuff they can one-shot our stuff. MITVs get over here. MI2 US get over here. You are all still where you are. Shilkas move in. We need our Shilkas as a backup against enemy um, Hueys or any kind of a... Hueys, mind you, do have... Ooh. Yeah, there it goes. The Hueys do have the ability to shoot you with their rocket. They have some rockets, some of them at least. We have the beautiful air. There it is, 82nd Airborne Division. The with ATGM weapons. Uh, M9 uh, and there is the beautiful ever so beautiful uh, command vehicle which will be nuking as soon very soon but that ATG might pose a problem so I might get a little bit closer with the MITV just a tad bit closer to open fire uh, T55 or these doesn't really matter at this point but they probably have a lot more defense than just those just say I'm just gonna say that immediately Wow, great missing, guys. MITVs, guys. MITVs right there. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Doesn't matter. At least some kind of a damage. It's okay. MITVs, 128. 128 rockets. 
it's a good stuff okay it's a good stuff T80s will be able to handle these guys uh, with no problems I believe let's get T80s here T80s here the best tanks we have so we can really allow these guys to get owned by something unknown to us just saying It's all about getting the M901 with the ATGM capability. I uh, 2600. Wow, accuracy 10, 14. Oh, these guys will pose a problem. Let's attack them. Screw everything else. It's 37 rockets. Hopefully, we'll be able to destroy. That's only two of those. So, hopefully, we'll be able to nuke those bastards out of the area. <coughs> US stuff. Again, we have the USSR stuff. T50. Those are all traitors, so we don't even talk with these people. They have to die. That's just a fact. Uh, no ability to shoot towards the enemy because of this swampy area here. We have not a clear sight towards the M901 ITVs. I do not know. Tank destroyers, yes, I know, but exactly what they are, I do not see. Like in terms of how they look and all that, I can't see they are in the bushes. Thankfully, we can at least see that they are somewhere around those positions. Is that it? Yes, MITV is gone. No more love for them. Okay, that means we need no FOBs on this side. We have a more MI-26s. I'm going to send in an MI-26 because they are amazing and the best is thing. 5,000 supply points they have inside. Like, holy crap. <laughs> they are beasts. <coughs> okay, fire spreading. Quite understandable. Let's get the MITVs here. T-80s. Could try and kill these guys, maybe. VDV into the swampy area, if you can. No, definitely no no way, no way, no how. No clear sight towards the enemy. Oh, of course, he has a clear sight. T-80s, man. These are not T-80s like T-80Bs. T-80Bs actually have the ATGM capability. And there you go. 48 is opening fire on two T-55s, and we have the M90010 uh, TGM tank destroyer T-80. Ooh, critical uh, track loss, transsexual, transsexual broken. There you go. And uh, that's it. VDV move on the move. A little bit damage here. That's okay. It's okay. It's all good. We understand that some things can happen. VDV on the move, as there are only our infantry that we have that close to the enemy town of what Warsaw Warsaw it's not Warsaw it's Marjava okay excellent excellent T70 sorry PT71 move in you can easily forget all the names sometimes but honestly like why would you why would you do that why would you do such a thing T72 over here uh, let's get those uh, VDV guys not the MITV thank you very much the VDV specifically towards this location thank you VDV on the prowl, enemy, oh crap, enemy contacts, enemy contacts, unknown enemy contacts, probably a BMP or any kind of an APC, probably, I say, might not have been, but uh, see, the, for this moment we need T-55s, uh, so we can burn any kind of possible enemy, or we s get the zappers, but at the moment I'm going to take the T-62s, flamethrower bastards, I'm going to get only two for now here, they will be able to handle anything inside of a town specifically, so we don't have to worry about the town. If there are some infantry, we can burn them inside. PT-71, please at least kill the M577 command vehicle. MI-2 move in. MITV towards this location. PT-71 has the ATGM capability, so he will be able to open fire with the ATGM. You see, it's much slower aiming and all that, but it's actually for the gun itself, which is the Grom 76, and not opening the Malutkas at all. Fine by me. Fine, but as soon as we can disable that, it's a GG for us, again, for at least for this uh, side. Then we move on forward and disable as much as we can down the line. A pretty much open area around these locations, so going towards block is not going to be difficult. We have enough area where we can destroy completely the enemy. So there you go. MIA TV is opening fire, gaining experience and combat level 2. There you go. VDV, move on a little bit. T-80s, move a little bit. Shilka store, stay where we are. The 80th from this location to the left. And there goes that. There goes their Marjevo. No command inside Marjevo anymore. Konstantin has been taken, well, not yet, but has been disabled and is neutral at this point. We're gonna be waiting for T55 stories, T62s 
to get the amazing stuff that is flamethrowers so t62 on the move enemy contact somewhere i do not know from where where we're getting enemy contacts somewhere we're getting enemy contacts we're being shot at it would seem by an enemy of unknown origin i can't see the bastards T-80s, oh, T-80s are getting shot at by an unknown source. MI-2, where are the MI-2, get over here. Holy crap, whatever that is, that must be a tank or something. As I can't even see the bastard. T-55 is moving. Fall back. To MI-26, go to MI-26. Oh, V, what the hell are you? Fall back, fall back. What the hell are you? Armored Recon, 67mm US, V-150. Okay, now lost the sight towards him. Let's get the PT-71 and T-80s to this location. Together they might do something. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Excellent, one target down. Let's get the 62 to the sides, maybe. If possible, TVs don't have a sight. Do you? Oh, no, 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 no. They don't have it. Fall back, fall back. Leave the TO-62s to their thing. TO Vulcans, the enemy AA. That's amazing. Excellent, excellent. Side shots, no losses. A bit of a panicking in Katrov. Katrov. Katirov? 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 Is that Katirov? That is panicking. Kitrov. Kitrov is panicking a tad bit. So there they did have the M162, the Vulcan version of the M113. Yeah, owned him heavily. We did. Thank you very much. Now the VDV may enter. Hopefully no again enemy contacts in the specific area, but we'll be able to bring some pain, bring some heat upon this. It was we can hear explosion. Might be the judges' housings and all that. Burn this before the VDV get in. We'll get close to the Majava. Burn it well. If you can, maybe, at some point. No? Yes, burn! Burn those bastards! Get to those locations, VDV. Go, go, go. Excellent. We burn most of it. Now the entire Majava is burning. Oh, wow. And there you are. Finally, we see the effect of our beautiful flamethrowers. We're going to stay a little bit back with the VDV, though. A little bit back. Thank you very much. That, 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 those flames, I mean, hell's mother humping bells. Thankfully, no civilian casualties, it would seem. T-80 is on the prowl. PT-71 damaged. Uh, thankfully we did not lose any of the T-80s. We actually lost nothing. We lost maybe one soldier in VDV. Yes, we did. And that's about it. We can send in the logistic support in terms of UAZs. How many? We have enough. We have definitely enough of UAZs. Uh, where shall I position my UAZ? Exactly here. At the bridge. At the foot of the bridge. In the Excellent. That's done. Marjorie is ours. We have taken one of the enemy entrance points before even taking the very first manager. The very first first objective that we got from the very beginning that we just encircling the enemy completely and destroying them that way I like that you ain't gonna see that again as I said you ain't gonna see that in any other game that's just amazing okay T-72 is moving possible enemy contents in any kind of a forested area there are messy probably enemy units maybe we can always we should always think there probably are huge chunk of enemy units in any forested areas right uh, maybe this right here. We're gonna check them out while we move to War Leonid. That's gonna be our next objective and do whatever we want there. Okay, as soon as we take this, we're gonna drop even more stuff. Shilkas, move forward. MI2 US, move forward. Give me some sight. Give me some sight, please. Give me some sight. Excellent. The fires have stopped spreading, maybe a little bit. Not really. T62s, get the fuck out of that place. Fires everywhere. Excellent. She'll kind of move. MITVs. Let's get uh, you over this Masheva here. UAZ finally there. Wow, very fast. Utilizing growth. They move so fast. It's ridiculously awesome. 
I love that. Euros move forward. MI26 stay right here. MITV go over here. Now we're gonna move every single unit possible towards forward objectives and you know not having any kind of unit behind you know, there is no point to it. This time how we are doing it we're totally taking everything from the enemy. Thank you very much. Konstantin is ours. I am a little bit worried though if they like I take the Grigori objective right the middle objective this is what I'm worrying about I might not get all the stars is that I get the Grigori sector and you have to wait it out you know like defend or some bullcrap like that wow explosions happening here holy crap there goes the house and uh, so anyway so you like have to wait it out a little bit so they have to utilize the roads their entrances to put some special unit that you need to kill to get stars and because we are taking their main points they won't be able to call in anything so we might not get all those stars even if I'm doing it like but that's okay that's okay I'm gonna play the way I like it the way the way the game allows me and it allows me a lot of giving it's giving me a massive amount of freedom okay so what the problem here is we need to send more VDV uh, specifically VDV why VDV because they're amazing and I like utilizing them like VDV are cool and getting plus the MITV is more of those there are only two left so cool they we need like more units up in these locations where we are where I'm looking at the moment so we can move in slowly and crush on every single possible forest with enough soldiers that can actually own enemy other soldiers I mean the VDV are elite soldiers after all I'm hoping they are good enough to destroy enemy soldiers themselves so at the moment T-55s again we can utilize T-55s just to burn everything and you not care right but sometimes you just want to enter with soldiers and be definitely sure that there are no enemy contacts whatsoever MITV get to this location uh, VDV to this location you're gonna be pretty much an open but so we're gonna move towards this position we have some VDV here so they might give us some insight we'll see soon enough we have so many units spread out all over the place well, not a bad thing mind you but still we have to be a tad bit careful for any any possible enemy just all of a sudden popping up because they're hiding well and my TV is not getting shot by any kind of enemy possible AA guns great that means there are no enemy AA guns in the vicinity or at least they don't have any sight towards us VDV, where you are, move on. VDV, where you are, move on. There's gonna be a little bit treacherous area, to be honest, but we will see. Get the MITVs to this position, thank you very much. T8 is to this location, move forward, move forward. MI2 US, move to this position. T8, stay where you are. I believe we have some VDVs here, thank you very much. You're gonna be moving towards this position to that forested area, Shilkas. Do prepare for in case again, who knows what kind of a uh, enemy attack we will um, find. FOB and Leonid, quite understandable being one of their no, uh, no FOBs in this specific location in Manjevo. And it seems the FOBs are hard to destroy. You can bomb them heavily, but they are definitely hard to destroy. I'm fine with that also. That would be kind of a uh, really annoying, because they cost a lot even to position. And they are after all your forward operation base. <laughs> you know, they give you all the supplies you need. Drop the VDB, thank you very much. Okay, our squad here not noticing any kind of enemy contacts inside the wooded area here. Always a good thing. I believe I did send a bunch of VDBs to this location, or did I screw myself? I guess I screwed myself. We have sticky keys, well, sticky keys, sticky selection for the units. And believe me, it's much more preferable when you have that. I don't usually, I always unstick that bullcrap in other games. Like company viewers or something like that because I don't like it but in this game it seems that it's must specifically in this series it's a must Fagot move on MITV is as a support T-72s hold the road here please guys go 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 T-72 of course 125 millimeter good armor not as great as the T-80s but still great armor and mostly it's still our one of our main battle tanks after all 4,000 points guys we have 40 we can just lower, you know go down and screw up the unit but that's not how they play that's not how a demon plays that's not how a demon plays at all I'm gonna stick T-55s on this middle ground or here no here here perfect for location a lot of greenery burn it down if need be burn it down if need be let's get the MIA TV up here excellent 
am i too not reporting any 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 kind of enemy contacts and vdv entering the forest and no enemy contact i believe we are doing so good that the enemy just doesn't know what the fuck is happening we are actually quite striking in in, in a way we are playing this we are sexy like a beast and the enemy just doesn't know how to respond to all this which is always a great thing let's spread you guys i don't like having like 40 man team there 20 man team sorry uh so hell's bells i'm just gonna get over to this locale with us uh, slowly but surely you know like move these guys here move these guys there no nothing in this definitely forest there is so move on give some possible insights these vdvs again no enemy contacts like we are getting crouching at the next enemy position and no enemy contacts not even on the left open space here where we have the tsto 62s anti and vdv like nothing absolutely nothing i'm gonna risk with this mi2 a little bit on this locale and get the vdv across into these hangars whatever yeah they are hangars it would seem so we're gonna go into those hangars with the vdv pretty much open still space and quite they can be seen by the enemy if need be MI2 still not reporting any enemy contacts except massive amount of FOBs. Like really massive amount of FOBs. TO55 to this location. Thank you very much. Go forward as much as you can. Anything that is on the secured borders, we can move them forward. There is no point for them to stay uh, behind at all. Motostrelki, move on into side this uh, wooded area. Thank you. BMP1P is holding this specific location, as you can see. Like beasts, they truly are. If enemy dares, they're two BMPs with their Grom, 75, 76, whatever millimeter guns. What do they have? You guys have 73 millimeter gun, and of course the Conkers. Uh, these are uh, these are one piece. They have Conkers, ATGM, not Malutkas. While the regular BMP1 has the Malutka. Shilkas, they're ready to open fire. If we do get closer to these buildings with Shilkas, they won't be able again to open fire towards enemy if, if it's in front. Like. If we position Shilka right here and the enemy comes from this location, they won't be able to open fire because of, uh, not because of the building itself. Uh, always a nice thing that you can definitely break the line of sight and, and the targeting uh, towards the enemy that way, or of course, uh, or vice versa. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, getting closer to the Gregory, we're not gonna still do much, but just for in case, you know, we're just gonna prepare ourselves and move all possible units. Oh, in all possible locations that are open to us and just have fun so definitely we have cleared most of the refinery part not too many we actually didn't have much contacts except under the part where we took uh this sector fedor sector there were a lot of enemy tanks and all that spread not inside the refinery uh, uh position itself but around it and totally demolished them that way shilkas again move any kind of a shilka i want your support guys they, and there this is almost impossible if i don't have any kind of support against enemy air targets i don't think the mia tv we're gonna open fire against enemy cobras or you know like something like that <laughs> that's for sure so as they don't have any kind of a AA capability they don't have any guns and mini guns or they don't have the, the mini guns or you know like whatever the mi 24 these actually have to 62 move in thank you uh vdv so there is absolutely nothing here I'm always thankful to know that there is nothing in those locations. Okay, in terms of infantry, let's get the sappers. With again 1P, I'm gonna get as many of them as I can. Two sapper squads. And let's get the faggot. Or we have not used Strela units at all. They're the AA soldiers. They come in VTRs, but I'm not gonna utilize them as there is no point. I have enough shilkas and all that. Moto Strelki, why the hell not? Right, or faggot. Let's go to faggot infantry and have fun with those position them in certain positions here come with btr though not bmps but still uh, they're amazing oh, they're all amazing if you know how to utilize them well not really know how to utilize them but still you know amazing look at the destruction and all that just sex pure sex so now the sapper is going to check out the areas around radvisi so we know what the fuck is happening you know like we know if the enemy might have infantry in support of any kind even close they're again they're not scouts sure but still if they are like people tend to say they're the best freaking anti-infantry uh, unit then we shall utilize it plus with the support of bmp one piece we know we can definitely smash any kind of possible enemy encounter 
every enemy has the APCs and all that. That is. I'm gonna drop these guys immediately so they don't get owned if the BMP 1Ps get owned. Okay, MI2, where are you? I know I have an MI2 here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna send another MI2 uh, as a scout. Uh, recon, thank you very much. MI2, uh, let's get the one that actually has the auto cannon. Position him right there, thank you very much. And get immediate recon in terms of PT 71Bs yet again. Yeah, this is the 71 bees, the most regular one, right? Not yeah. Wait, there's 71, 76 bees. Yeah, we saw 71 is a better than 76 B, I believe, or something like that. I have no idea. Do you know? I do not know. Do you know? I do not know. I know that I'm right, so I'm right. So there you go. 76 B, much weaker, kind of a creature of darkness than the 71. Uh, have the 76 gone? Yes. 71 has the actual Malutkas as an ATGM. A 76 B doesn't have anything except the gun itself. So there you go, the destruction, the horror, we are now entering Marjavo, whatever this damnable thing was. We have so many troops everywhere, you know, and it's uh, just ridiculous, <laughs> look at this, like total destruction. It's just beautiful to zoom in and see how awful all that truly is, you know, how much death and glory we gained. Or given, we gave, gave a lot of death to the enemies. Okay, drop these guys, thank you. BTR will be uh, one of those things that we're just gonna sacrifice for in case, you know, just overlooking any kind of possible enemy location as soon as they open fire upon him. We will know, we will know. Okay, now it's time for my T-80s to move in. T-80s, the bestest tanks I can have, not the, not the B version or the A version or whatever version we have as a secondary version that is the better version. We only have like a few of those anyway. Uh, like three as max to call in. Like holy crap, that's ridiculous. But yeah, nonetheless, T-80s have a beautiful 125mm cannon. They are ready to kill, rape and pillage and burn. Amazing stuff right there. Okay, no contacts whatsoever. But we do see uh, the Scott 2A. Scott 2As are your APCs and the two heavy machine guns and that's about it. They're just your freaking APCs. Nothing special, but they are Polish bastards. So that means they have to die. They will die immediately. And let's get closer, guys. Let's get closer. Thank you very much. TO62, go in. PT71, go in. Do we have any more kind of a vehicle? We have the MITVs. I believe enough. We have 71 rockets. Not a problem. Move in. Shilka behind the forested area. Move in. MI2, yes. Let's get to you a little bit. Uh, well, we need a scouting party anyway, so we're gonna risk it a little bit. This is the US version, again, who has the auto cannon or something like that. Let's get over here, T-72s. Now, nah, we are we are definitely encroaching in a little bit of a dangerous place. We're getting, this is an uphill terrain. The enemy might have something here, as we are yet not seeing it. Though, if, it, it would, if they were in a clear, we would know that they have something really evil, right? VDV is still safe. Everything is safe. Really, you have no problem on the left at the moment. No enemy contact in terms of contacts, you know, direct action against us. Okay, so this is what we see. Mostly UAZs, Scots, and all that. If that probability, the block, and even are under, spe specifically on, po on the Polish control, is not going to be a problem. Uh, you know, we know the equipment they have, so we can at least fight them easily. Sappers spread out. Thank you very much. Go here. Sapper, go here. We're gonna hit them from the side with sappers, boy. We're gonna be. Oh, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. That's okay. We're gonna just move in then. TO62 is move in. PT71, move in. MI2 US. Well, you can now freely go to this location. Maybe we're gonna, not gonna notice any kind of an evil or thing here. So again, Scott. Two A's. We have seen the UAZ and the FOPs, of course. But do we have anything heavy? On the right side, we really don't have any heavy, heavy equipment. Except our uh, beautiful, ever so beautiful MITVs with the rocket pods. We reality-wise don't have any tanks except the T-80s on this. I can, I can spread them a little bit. T-80s here. T-80s here in the center. Thank you very much. Shilka's behind here. And that's it, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Awesome. MITV opening fire immediately. Ooh, Pechota's match, which are the enemy uh, traitors, the Polish traitors specifically, and they're being owned heavily. Excellent job, MITV, excellent job. I loved your work. I truly loved how you did it. 
just nuke those pastures, they deserve it. Excellent. Not the greatest hit sometimes, but they are mauling upon. They're stunned. They're getting on. Then though the FOB trying to uh, give them back their losses, we're gonna try and cut that crap down. TO62, do remember again, have the flamethrower so I can rift to get a little bit closer to the enemy. BTRs get over here. Faggot of infantry. Well, stay around this location. I have enough of the tanks to help it out if need be. Thank you very much. T80s and TO62s getting inside. Thank you. Now we have a pure sight towards Pluck. But the problem is, whatever they have inside the buildings, that's gonna be the thing that TO62s need to deal with. And being that there is no uphill terrain, we just have a strong line towards the enemy and we just need to open our fire towards them. So that means we're gonna be moving TO62s to burn those bastards. Uh, uh, our front armor, of course, up front, the enemy TO62s, manager. TO62s again. The first time I believe we're seeing them truly in the battle of the gods. So seeing them like this looks cool. Disabling pluck and Leonid is down. No ability for them to send any kind of reinforcement. Fuck here, America. Who's your daddy? You do not know this. As soon as we take this, that's where we're going to end the video. And the next video will be taking the last two main positions, which is Divan and, of course, Gregory. And after that, it's all GG for Demon and his kind. Sappers, move across the terrain. You have the flamethrowers. You are to, want to be the ones to actually hold off enemy tide. Oh, wait. We are looking at the... Okay, Pluck. I was looking at Rajivi. Rajivi? Rajivi? Whatever town. No enemy comes probably in that. So, I don't care. Sappers on the move because of the flamethrower ability and being the, the, they are definitely definite infantry killers. MI2 US, you can definitely get a little bit over here over the BTR. BTR is a support for the sappers. Thank you very much. MI TV is no more of anything. That means the MI26 and Urals need to be a little bit closer here. Now, mind you, they are, they are FOB, so we can easily get close enough to feed upon that FOB. TO62, no contacts. Thank you very much. BTR, moving in. Thank you. MI2, not reporting any more contacts. Except more FOBs. Two FOBs. Jesus, these guys are definitely being ready for some massive assault if we have taken Gregory. Excellent. Excellent. We did fucking well. We did actually so good on this one. It, uh, it's just ridiculously good. Amazing. Let's send the UAZ soon to be able to take Leonid. As soon as we can, that is. T-80s, get over this location. BMP-1 piece to this location. PT-71. We need your eyes, man. We need your eyes. No need for your ears, but we need your eyes. MI-26 is coming with us. Apply for MI-TV. Thank you. Fagot Infantry up to this location. T-80s, two, AT, two T-80s only this. Okay. VDV into the swamps. Go. VDV into the swamps also. VDV into the swamps. Go, go, go. Have fun. Have fun. Just have freaking fun. That's the important thing. Have fun. Or we can put these specific guys to encroach the enemy from behind. Like in these locations. Yeah, that would be cool. Instead of going for the Ivan, we leave this entire post, these guys all, to go through Leonid and into the Ivan, right? And then we take Gregory. Of course, as soon as we take the Ivan into uh, Leonid, that is completely secure the damnable thing, then we'll move in, uh, save, and then the next video we'll be moving into the Ivan and taking Gregory. Ivan shouldn't be that hard to take. I mean, though they are on the uphill terrain, uh, it's still a little bit risky. You know, who knows what they truly have but again it could be com they completely have nothing we have encircled the enemy in, in all directions okay in all direction we have encircled the enemy so always a good thing the uh, t80 is moving bmp1 p is no contact pt76 b is not losing any contact always a good thing at least i'm not losing any contact if the enemy does have some infantry left and right it could be a problem thing there it goes enemy contact uh, enemy infantry but with the amount of stuff I have, there goes all the entire enemy infantry. There, are, I believe there were maybe even two squads of enemy infantry there. There were 20 units there. So there you go. Amazing. PT-76 always doing the right job. Sappers, go, go, go. Guys, burn those sons of bitches. TO-62 getting a little bit of love. Oh, oh, faggot infantry. Fall back. Fall back. Oh, will it hit? No, it won't. No, it won't. But that means that I can freely move in the MI2 US and I can move the MI TV now full on ammo. Right here. Oh, right here. 
Sad first move. I'm a little bit worried about this. We do not really have much of a site on that specific location. We have the VDVs inside the swamps, but still nothing really faggot. So there you go. Three squads. Holy crap. Three squads. They come in five managers. So there you go. Three squads. Sappers, go, go, go. Inside the village. MIT, we should be able to open fire. They have a nice site. Uh, maybe. No, they're gonna land. They're gonna land. Instead of supporting me, they're gonna land. BMP 1P, go to this location. Thank you. Sappers entering for the first time in an enemy occupied town, possibly with a lot of infantry inside that we are not yet noticing. Excellent. Excellent. Go, go, go. Okay, there is more than meets the eye in this one. And we lost one BMP. Second BMP. All BMP is gone. Not a good thing. Excellent. There you go. Finally, infantry combat. Infantry combat. Separatists against those faggot bastards. Oh, we the flamethrower going on. Excellent. 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 PT-76. We need your... We need your eyes towards the enemy. Lost the two BMP one piece, sadly. That's okay. We can live with that. Go, go, go. Inside block. Go, go. Sappers. Not taking the FOB, meaning that the FOB is still not secured. There are more things there. PT-71 gone. PT-71 gone. It could be Malutkas. Could be Malutkas. Go, go, go. MI2, yes, go here. We need your we need your eyes. We're definitely now a little bit uh, over, our, oh, again, overreaching all this. We're gonna wait it out. Sapper, stay where you are and wait it out. At least we lost only one Sapper dude out there. Uh, we lost the PT-71 and lost the BMP-1Ps. T-62M. T-62M has the ATGM capability. Of course they do. Bastion, uh, name is Bastion. 2,625. That's a big range. Okay, Leonid is ours, guys. Capture it. With the UAZ, we will. And we done nothing without air support, honestly. Like, nothing without them. Massive, massive fire breaking loose near FOB. Massive fire. Thank you, MI2US. Thank you for the sight. VDV, go. VDV, go. Target infantry, go. T80 go. We're gonna move T80 is completely this location. Let's move, 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 move. Sappers don't have any insight towards the enemy at this moment. So if there are more faggot infantry, there must be around these parts. But we can side shot the 62s. It seems that the uh, the uh, MI8 TVs are having issues. Okay, gone and gone. Sappers, go back, go back, go back, go back. Do not risk your lives. Okay, Emmanuel is almost dead, it would seem. Emmanuel is almost dead. One health point, three health points. Okay, excellent. FOB ours, everything is ours. TO-62 is getting inside the town, going through the town, doesn't care. Moving on. Enemy contacts again, T55. So we have definitely destroyed the main base for the Americans, at least. Always a good thing, of course. Always a good thing. I love that. We have totally demolished the enemy. Oh, 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 no, maybe not. Maybe not. The ITW, the ITW right there in front. Not a good thing. VDV, VDV, go, go, go. Fagot Infantry, can you do something? Fall back. What the hell are you actually shooting at? TO-62, go back. Go back. No point. No point. No point. Break off. Thank you very much. No point. Let's just help our guys. And that's it. So we have taken another. Leonid is ours. Ivan and Grigori left. 
Excellent, excellent job, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Next time we go on to the event, it seems they really don't have anything on even. And then we can go to Gregory and finish the job. And hoping we get all the 13 stars because I deserve this, okay? I wish you the very best. Bye bye.